Hi guys, Rebecca Creates here with some prize mail that came all the way from Hawaii. So this was a challenge I had entered um, for Crafty Hilo Girl here on YouTube. She had a birthday challenge with two parts. You could join um, a part of it that was Sanrio themed and then she had another one that was snack themed where she was asking people to send a snack from like the state they live in so anyway i was the lucky winner of the snack um prize pack which i'm so excited for and um so this just came in the mail tonight and i cut it open and i covered our addresses but i haven't looked inside at all so i wanted to do an unboxing and i wanted to shout out crafty hilo girl i'm gonna link her down below you guys please go over and show her some support um, and subscribe to her channel. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, she decorated it really cute with like my melody and um, um, Purim, Pum Pum Purim, Karopi down here. I love Sanrio, you guys. So uh, that was so cute. Um, oh, look how fun. Oh, this one's stuck. Okay, look how exciting, you guys. This is a huge box full of snacks. And I feel like she just told me I was the winner. And this box came pretty quick. So here's a little card. I'm going to open that up first. Oh, how pretty is that, you guys? I have these dies in my cart on AliExpress, you guys. I have to get this. This is so cute. So it says sending smiles and it's a shaker. She stitched around. Oops, was I off camera because I was all into the card? <laughs> so that's the card. So pretty. Let me just look inside. Oh. Oh gosh. Yeah, so this is her name. Crafty Hilo Girl. I'm gonna link her channel down below, you guys. Look how cute. She sent me like a paper piece my melody that is so cute i love it this card is too much i love it it's perfect the little mix she put inside and everything i love it okay so let's see oh my gosh okay i don't know what to look at first my god there's so much stuff in here so this is a pack of cookies that are um Ube flavored Yubi. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Trader Joe's was doing this flavor of stuff in the summer. And it's like a, a Filipino Asian kind of um, flavor that's popular flavor that's purple. And I think it's like sweet um, yam or something. So I'm really excited to try this. <gasps> they look really good and I can feel that they're super soft. So that was the first thing. Wow, there's so much in here, Jenny. Oh my gosh. So there's this cute little bag. Like a tiny little gift bag. Can you guys see that? And then inside are some like shortbread cookies. This looks really good. So it says BigIslandCandies.com. So it's like a shortbread cookie dipped in a dark chocolate. That's what it looks like. And there's a few dip. Oh, and there's some dipped in white. My son's going to love that. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay. Next. I've never seen... I haven't ever seen any of these things. So I'm really... I love going to like Daiso and like different um, European delis and stuff when I'm in the city. Um, just to find like different little treats. So this was right up my alley. So this is by Lottie. Um, crunchy Bits. It looks like almost like a crunch can you see that like rice crisp rice in chocolate really cool i can't wait to try that okay oh some more of those cookies and these look like the milk chocolate ones let me tuck them in that little baggie and there's some loose candies here choco bar japan because Hawaii is so close to Japan, right? So a lot of their food is Japanese influenced. So that looks good. That looks interesting. Okay. This says original lemon peel gummy bears. 
Wow, check that out, you guys. They have, okay, so it looks like gummy bears in there with some kind of something on them. The Ono local food that we all grew up with. Oh my gosh, this is like from, can I open it? I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm really curious how that's going to look. So it has like, almost looks like, I have to try, that's an orange one there. That's my favorite gummy bear flavor. Mmm. It has like a citrusy taste to it. Maybe it's soaked. I don't know, but it's really good. Mm. Oh, and this has like a Facebook page too. Lonnie's Snack Shack. Really cool. Mm, these are really good. Okay. Sorry if you hear me chewing. Okay. Dark chocolate covered peppermint brownies. Wow. That looks really good too. I'm curious. Do you guys want to see? I didn't want this to be... um. A tasting video with me <laughs> with me crunching on everything but i do love snacks and i'm not gonna re-gift any of this i'm definitely gonna eat all of it so let's take a look wow this is a huge box you guys <gasps> and they're individually wrapped oh and look it's by the big island candies and she sent me those exact cookies so those must be like their trademark cookies oh my gosh you guys this looks amazing this is like a hefty brownie covered in chocolate and then it has a little bit of peppermint like candy cane crumbled on top that's gonna be delicious like my little niece would say that looks banging <laughs> So, okay, so that's everything, and then there is one more giant bag here. Oh my god. Made in Hawaii, Island Princess, the original Mele, Mele Max toffee coated macadamia nuts covered in luscious milk chocolate. 100% Hawaiian grown. You guys. That is a giant bag. Okay, I'm not going to taste test them on camera, but look at all these goodies. I can't wait to get into these. Oh my God. Jenny, you outdid yourself. This is like serious. This is a lot of stuff. And it feels so bad because shipping is so expensive. Um, so she really outdid herself. So you guys definitely go out, go and check out Crafty Hilo Girl. She's super crafty. I like watching her haul videos. Um, very crafty. As you can see, she's a Sanrio girl, kind of like myself. And Jenny, thank you so much for all of these goodies. What a perfect like holiday treat. My son and I are definitely going to pick out and try all of this tonight. And um, yeah, so thank you so much. And, and everybody, please go and check out her channel. Thanks for, so much for watching. Bye, guys.